Hi everybody, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions and in this video I'm going to take a quick look at how to use the Zotero group library to share some files with your classmates or with an instructor or with the world at large. Now in this case I've had a student who has asked me how to use our group library in a particular course. I use Zotero to create collaborative libraries with my students. Uh, how to uh, add a file using the online portal. So I just so happen to have a link here embedded in my course to a course readings library. And when I open this up, typically you come to this screen here and you can click on group library, uh, depending on the uh, sharing settings for the library. And you'll see our whole structure. So we've got it divided up by week. Now in this case, the student is looking at adding a file, a record to the looking forward uh, folder here. And uh, she has mentioned that she doesn't see an intuitive way to add a file to this. And indeed, you can't when you're not logged in because the settings for this group library are that uh, anyone in the public can see the files in it, but you need to be a member of the library to, uh, to actually add to this. Now, to add your files when you're online, the first thing that you need to do is log in and join the group if you haven't already. So I'm just going to log in here and enter my username and password. And it will bring me back into the library. And now I'm going to see more tools up here. So I need to come back to my group library for this course, which is this one, 604. Come down to week 13. And now you'll see some more options up here, uh, including this little plus sign. So you click on that plus sign. And it will give you all the options to add some resources into this folder. Now, the other option is to use the Zotero desktop application, which I have installed here. So I'm going to click on this and open it up. And in order to use the Zotero desktop application and to instantly add files and share them with a the group library, you're also going to need the Chrome plugin. Uh, once you have the Chrome plugin installed, you can easily find that by going to the Zotero website or just doing a Google search for a Zotero Chrome plugin. You'll see a plugin up here at the top with all of your other plugins, uh, all your other extensions for adding using Zotero. So mine appears to be buried here. And there we see my Zotero connector is here. It may appear right on the top. Ah, here's my Zotero connector right here. Next thing you need in the desktop application is to make sure that you're signed in. In this case, I am signed in, and you can see all of my group folders that I already have. If you're not signed in, you need to find that option here under the, uh, under the menus, and you sign into your account uh, using the menu options here, and then you sync it. Now, uh, this is our course, 604, so I can see all of my folders here. I simply go to week 13. I can manually add something using the plus sign here and find what type of, op what type of resource I want to share and add it in. My other option is to come to the, uh, the browser, find a resource. So, for example, maybe one of my blog posts. And uh, I have this rapid transition to online learning survival guide here. If I wanted to add that to this particular library in the uh, desktop application, I make sure that I have the correct uh, library selected. I make sure that I have the correct week selected, the correct folder that I want to save this in. I come back to my browser. I simply click on the Zotero connector here. And it is going to add all of this directly into my uh, folder. I come back here. I now see that it is added into my folder. I just need to tweak some of the settings over here, make sure that I have all of the missing information. And perhaps I need to add... Uh, my blog post in here and the date of publication. Some of this information might be missing when you add it up here. So this would be uh, March the 13th, 2020, this post was added. So I'll add that in. Everything else looks like it is all listed here. I will just hit synchronize this little button up here. 
And when I come back into the desktop version or the web based version of the library and hit refresh, you'll see that the rapid transition, uh, the, uh, the blog post that I had uploaded is now synchronized here for the entire group.